boy, you know what legend I sure do love? The legend of Warrior. What warrior? That warrior. Who's that? Uh. <laughs> It is a legend everyone will forget. It is the legend of Warrior. And his card art lets us know that this guy is very much a Conan the Barbarian ripoff. But he could also be a kind of oversized Masters of the Universe or Galaxy Hole-ish figure. And we got C.E. Uh, recycle it, recycle it, made in China. We do have a sticker at the top telling us not for children under three. And we've got not only a company, but surprisingly a year attached to this pile of crap. 1994 Hinstar. Hinstar, Heinstar, whatever, made a lot of cash in -y type toy lines in the 90s to early 2000s. With stuff like ugly hunchback of Notre Dame dolls. Even uglier, smaller hunchback of Notre Dame toys where they sort of look like babies for some reason. Stupid wrestler figures with snap-on clothes. A very much related to Legend of Warrior line with the Saga of Hercules. Battle Troop with Top Gun himself. There's also some rather strange lines like the Road Hell Angel Warriors featuring Uncle Brown and Pirate. United Nations Special Force, where the UN fights robots, I guess, and they aren't afraid of any yellow lipstick. My favorites here being Junior Foxy and Uncle Judge. And a super terrifying Toy Story Woody ripoff who brags about how soft he is. A soft Woody. Wonderful. And the back of the card is absolutely thrilling. But hey, look, someone wrote Pat on it. Are you missing your Legend of Warrior, Pat? All right, off the card and Legend of Warrior looks painted pretty decently, but he feels extra cheap. He also feels quite gross. You see that glistening off his helmet? That's plastic sweat. So yeah, you touch him anywhere around here, your hand's gonna get sticky, kinda gross. His limbs are all rubbery too, and not the greatest feeling rubbery stuff, though also not the cheapest, I guess, so it's not terrible, but it just makes him kind of feel like a little kid's toy when absolutely every part of him pushes in very easily. Maybe this is meant to be a chew toy for a dog or something. <laughs> Get more use out of it that way, though. Probably wouldn't want your dog to bite into this with all this gross plastic sweat going on. Oh, oh, the legend of warrior I am. Look at my stupid legs. <laughs> They've got articulation though, so I can't be mad. Yes, I can, you idiot. <laughs> old legend of warrior does have a good old stamp on his back. Copyright 1994 HFIL, or HIL, which must stand for Heinstar Illuminati League. Here's Legend of Warrior holding his axe and shield, though he is so lightweight it makes it kind of hard for him to stand up once he's holding those. And for whatever reason, he comes with two axes, the exact same mold, just one's gold and one's silver. I'm in the silver axe mood today. I'm not playing golden axe because I'm not good at it. <laughs> oh, Legend of Warrior. You dare not play golden axe? You must die. <laughs> Legend of Warrior truly is the figure that has everything because in addition to sweating a lot, he's got bad B.O. Yeah, that's right. In addition to feeling like a sticky bath toy or chew toy, he also's got stinky plastic smell. Wow, you just really gotta love that stupid guy, whoever he is. Warrior. Maybe he's the ultimate warrior. Take the plane into a nose dive, Hulk Hogan, and then you'll be near but unknown. Ah! Time to get folked. <laughs> 
So with a figure like this, of course, the best thing he'd fit in with is like Masters of the Universe and stuff, but he's a little big for that. For size comparison, here he is next to Skeletor, Renko Arak, and Turley Gang Secundus. He kind of stands out a bit, doesn't he? There were apparently four figures total in the Legend of Warrior line, all of which aren't really that interesting. Just four generic warrior type dudes. Two of them almost look like the exact same guy, just one with a Kano-ish face and the other with a snooty mustache. There were some other accessories as well with this amazing lion face shield. Legend of Warrior also had some two-figure packs, which actually had a group shot on the back, featuring some prototype alternate colors for some things. Really a mixed bag here. The soft vinyl is kind of decent in some areas, but these figures are overly lightweight and squishy. Also, the plastic sweat and smell leave a lot to be desired. They do, however, have some decent accessories and paint jobs. Five. These four generic dudes for a swords and sorcery lineup is a really boring one, I gotta say. Could've used some skeletons, snakes, wolves, or even baltards to shake it up a bit. One. Again, due to the lack of variety in Legend of Warrior, this just really ends up being a rather standard cash in line, too. Pretty standard on the card back as well. A kind of mid-line name, and a lot of the card is just blank red and orange. There was at least a bit of artwork and a proper company name and year. Three. I'd say these Legend of Warrior figures would only really be that good if you wanted a giant guy for Masters of the Universe type figures, but there's probably better options options out there that aren't stinky and sticky. Three. And the bootleg zones overall is three. These figures look more decent than they feel or smell, and they really need some more interesting characters. <laughs> Ha ha ha! Destrucity and other dumb things the warrior said. Hey, Eric and Skeletor, I'm just really sick of that stupid Legend of Warrior, aren't you guys? This is a really bizarre team up, is it not? I don't care, Skeletor, I just want to kill that stupid Legend of Warrior! Um, yes, I do concur. He looks a bit too much like me with a helmet on. Good thing I look nothing like any other character either. Shut up, Eric! That was boring! Yeah, what he said. You idiots! You cannot withstand the Legend of Warrior! I even brought out my Gordon Axe today because I'm feeling fancy! <laughs> oh, my rubbery limbs! I can barely hold myself up! Let's kill him! No, please don't! <laughs> You stole my face, even though I stole Conan's face. But who cares? It is my right to kill you! Please! Eric, I'm your father! No, that's not true! You're not even from DC! Search your feelings, Eric, because I am Thunder! No, you are not. Please! Nice one, Eric. You want a job killing He-Man? Yeah, sure, why not? I'll be too, cause I wanna kill him! You're a bit too much, Secundus, but I like your spunk or something. Yeah, cool. The end. What? <laughs>